Uh, thank you, Linda, and uh, a, a very warm welcome to everybody here in the, uh, in the room. We are uh, very excited to announce today that uh, we have uh, contracted lead suppliers for our first robotic mission to Mars. Uh, Lockheed Martin uh, will build our first Mars lander and Surrey uh, Satellite Technology Limited will build our uh, first communication satellite. And these missions are the first step in Mars One's overall plan of establishing a permanent human settlement on Mars. The Mars lander and the Mars communication satellite will fly in 2018, uh, two years later than our original schedule. And in this new schedule, all the missions, including the manned mission, will fly two years later, uh, which means that our first humans will land in uh, 2025. Right, halfway. So I see uh, Jeff Faust here in the front row and then uh, AFP. It will be in a fixed location over the Mars lander. Uh, to, which will allow a live video feed from the surface of Mars uh, to Earth. And we expect that this will bring Earth a lot closer to everybody on Earth. So anyone here on Earth can log in to our website and see what's it like on Mars. Is there snow on Mars? It is the first uh, privately funded planetary exploration mission. If you think about that, that is really, really cool. You know, so this, the, the opportunity to participate in that uh, is just really exciting. So, so one way to, that we view this is this is the, the dawn of a new era of space exploration, private funding. All right. All right. Uh, Rory Ivanov asks a couple questions here. For, for getting the first four humans on Mars is about six billion US dollars, and there's 200 people on this planet that have uh, more than six billion US dollars as their personal wealth. In the last uh, couple of months, I think I recall uh, you, Boss, saying something about being in talks